what's good guys we are back with our friend max power strange, strange places. places this guy is crazy you all know him let him do his little introduction strange places we go places that most people wouldn't dare to venture there you go we are back with max power and strange places inside of another strange place an abandoned well condemned hotel i'm not sure what's going to go on with this place but there is a very cool feature that we all love inside of these hotels an atrium the pool area with the atrium the bar area with the atrium we love to see that i love these types of hotels i love exploring them there's a lot of other stuff here it's very clean it has gotten touched there has definitely been some kids inside here vandalizing this place doing some bad things but it is really 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 looking good still so i want to get to this before anybody else gets to it show you guys it get through it let's do it with maximilian powers I really love the sconce lighting that they have here. You guys know I'm all about the lighting and this, you know, it just puts a little bit more of a theme onto the place. There's no theme really here, but it just makes it look nice. We're behind the front desk now, which looks pretty new. Like everywhere I go inside of here, it looks like they have relatively new stuff, new newer computers. You know, maybe it's just because they're not really broken up that they're not looking that old. You could see, tag, 2018. So the last time this place was at least ran to code, or fire code for that matter, was 2018. But everything here looks really, really new. They definitely look like they tried to save this place before it got run down. This is probably some of the nicest furniture I've ever seen in an abandoned hotel lobby that we've explored together. Very new. There is mold on it though. So it has been sitting here for a little while. It's definitely been getting cold inside of here. It seems like it's been getting wet also, but it's still fairly new. So you can kind of tell that possibly this hotel was going through some sort of renovation to save it at its end days and maybe it just spent too much money. You can even see it's kind of a rarity that you see these newer flat screen TVs and mostly the Banner Resorts. I'm sure it's gonna become pretty regular the more and more resorts that we find that are going abandoned, but there is a pretty new flat screen TV here as well in the lobby area, which is pretty new all in itself.
right, so we're now walking to the other part of the upstairs wing, which I think goes out to the atrium area. Let's see if some of these are open while we go down. Oh, nope, you can see, oh, some of the rooms are done. You can still see it. Let's see if we can get in a couple. Walking down here, this is really cool. You can see all the frost on the windows. It's really cold outside, but I think that that is supposed to, actually, no, that's real frost on these windows. Look, brand new sneaker. Can't get in any of the rooms, but they're set up. You can still see that. More brand new lounge furniture. Look at this, guys. Look at that pool. Completely frozen over. Wow. This atrium is dope. Look at this. That's actually really cool right down there, guys. That's a whole gym, little fitness center, right in the atrium, right next to the pool. Usually those are off to the side of the rooms, but this one, right in the middle. Very cool. Probably one of the cooler exercise areas I've ever seen. Exercise areas, listen to me, a gym. This is probably going to go down as one of my favorite hotels with an atrium area inside of it. This one is really, really dope. Very well put together. I don't think that it's going to compare to the Days Inn one. That one was really, really cool. And there was a couple other cool ones, but this is probably second or third. Second or third to the ones that we've been in. I really had to go over it because we have been inside of a lot of hotels, but this is definitely a very cool little atrium area. I really love these. I really do. I always tell you guys. The entire pool is frozen. We had definitely seen this. Look, chairs down there frozen, the umbrellas, everything frozen inside of there. Completely frozen solid. This is a very cool atrium area. I really like this pool. I like the shape of it. It's very nice. It really had this well put together. The glass, you could see through the dining areas and the bar area over there. Very cool. Even the pond over here, the little stream, it's all frozen.
Very cool. Kind of like most of the other stuff inside of this place, even this gym equipment is pretty new. Probably some of the best gym equipment we've ever seen. It's in very good shape. Really good stuff. I'm not exactly sure if this is state of the art because I don't use these machines when I'm working out or anything like that, but they look like they're definitely usable. So I wonder why they left them behind, especially with all this vandalism getting ready to happen more and more and more. But this is definitely cool. Look at this. Imagine working out in here. To look right out onto the pool. Come in here, build up a sweat, and walk right through these doors here. Go jump in the pool. Good setup. This is definitely one of the best setup ones that we've seen so far. I really like this bridge here. You have to take to get over to the snack shack. You go out to this window, probably get all your nice tiki drinks or a beer or something alcoholic, right? They even left some alcohol back there. Go around and get inside of here. They literally left everything inside of this bar, including the beer and all the other alcohol, it seems. And it looks like people have been drinking it. Hopefully it's the explorers. Get a little buzz on while you explore. Look at this bar. Very nice. Very well done. And this dance floor. Look at that. Very cool. The bamboo dance floor. Look at that. It's really nice. Usually the dance floors that we go on to are rotten and picked up. This is actually a nice new floating floor. It's not a hardwood floor. It's just a floating floor. But still, new. And it's not rotten. Yet. And the bamboo wallpaper is very cool. But that, you can tell right there, is starting to get moldy. There's mold growing right there. And it's going to turn very black one of these days. Another cool lounge area they set up over here. Kind of reminds me of those old Memorex commercials when a guy's sitting in a chair like this and the speaker blasts him and the lamp, like that lamp right there. This is kind of cool, but it's par for the course inside of here. Almost new. Makes you wonder why they left it here. See guys? All the alcohol. They left all the Tito's, all the Sutter home, 
all the beef eater and the southern comfort no money though I guarantee they did not leave any money I win the bet yeah I guess they didn't need any more alcohol because they left it all here and all the nice machines to hold it in too they look pretty now usually we're seeing mold growth around those but that's not the case here probably relatively new to the abandonment of this place wow it's gonna go it's at the start unfortunately we are looking at the start of decay Alright guys, this was a really dope explore. I figured I'd end it off in this really cool gym gazebo pagola slash thing, however you call it. But it's very cool without the ceiling here. You were able to work out in this gym, like I said before, take a dive in the pool, watch some flat screen TVs. Very, very cool, very modern hotel. I wonder why this place closed down. It's kind of unfortunate because it was set up very nicely it was done very well but like i said before they probably put a lot of money into it and they might have priced out the people who went elsewhere stayed a little bit because a lot of times you're only going to stay one or two nights in a hotel like this you're not coming here for a family vacation or anything like that so lots of money doesn't get dumped into these places if you don't see a lot of traffic from the streets outside you're not going to succeed in this business here this is probably number one or two in the atrium hotels that we've ever explored together. We've explored some good ones, but like I said before, this one was really, really set up very nicely and it was done very well. I hope they get back on their feet one day. I hope to see it running and thriving and the vandals don't get to it and the decay doesn't start to drop everything down and on itself. Until the next spot, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. Peace.